Hey guys, welcome to the season finale of ep uh, season one, Survivor of the Desert. And here we have an awesome audience. And we have our co host, Walker Stalker. Ew! But I'm just kidding now. <laughs> and um, here we are about to watch this, uh, the final episode to see who will take the title of Survivor. Soul of the Desert. Survivor! Yes. So, I hope you guys are hype and stoked for this as much as we are. No, nobody is. And, I'm sorry. Uh, yay. Failed. You failed. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to. You're like, this skin is like glitching and it's like turning off and off. It's like vanish, vanish, vanish. Okay, yeah. guys. So I hope that you're ready to watch this episode and stay tuned and stay watch tuned to the live. end. Watch the end, guys. You better watch it. Better watch out. You better not Walker sings an awesome song at the end of this, so yeah. Wait, no! I never agreed to this. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, have fun watching the video. Can't make me, I'm running away! So we have Beba. Beba. He has been loyal, he has been hardworking, and he has been a good team member this whole entire season. And he is doing his best to do whatever he can to get to the end. Vega. Um, I'm just a berry bear. He has been a competition beast. He has backstabbed people and he has played many idols. And um, he is basically the villain of the season. And he will do anything it takes even to backstab to get to the end. Chewable. Well, thanks. You didn't know how to say my name. I'm sorry. Chewable. He has been the underdog of the season, and he has also uh, been very strategic with who he sticks with, and uh, has been on the majority side of most of the game, and placed himself very well in this game. Hello guys, welcome to the finale. Ooh, yay. One of you guys will win this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, Now, Vega, can you please give me the necklace? Necklace is back up for grabs. Now, for this challenge, first one to get to the end will get to choose who will go to the final two with them. And yeah, that's about it. And it is hard parkour. So, good luck to you all. And <coughs> this challenge will start in five, four, three, two, one, go. This challenge has been playtested by Pikmin. That oats. Wait, what is this? No. Oops. Crap. Oh, uh, Red, there was a book in this item frame, but I accidentally broke it. I'm it's okay. I don't know what it was for. Okay, so after we make this jump, are we allowed to use, like, the, um, after, the point? After you get to the other side of the septums. Oh. Okay. Why? Out of every single thing you can do, why would you do twisty jumps? I hate twisty jumps. Yeah, same. I mean, obviously the final challenge had to be hard, but did it really have to be this hard? Oh, you could just yeah, put the, you could just put the twisty jumps, and none of us would ever make it. And yes, I made it. Bayback can now use the checkpoint. Oh, oh, you raised. You said that too. Oh. Yeah, right as I said, I'm gonna lose. I'm like, yes. Okay, okay, I just need to keep it up like this. I'm gonna jinx okay, myself. I'm doing I'm the jinx parkour myself. vanish. Well, day back, I mean, it's pretty much over at this point. Nobody else is gonna make a twisty jump. Dang it, I hate that two yeah. the double ladder jump. That That's just annoying. Ah, I was almost there. Oh, that's how you do it. It is possible. I, like, I've made it. Like, I made it once. Yeah, Bayback just made did it. Twice. I already yeah, did. Yeah, I just did it. I don't know how to do it. Across. Oh, that's. Oh, I did it. It's annoying, like double ladder jump. That they that back double with ladder you. jump. Oh, wait, I can't on. freaking I made, do I made that. Jewel book. Can now use the checkpoint. Can you start? What I, I had to I'm do looking. all of like the hardest oh, no. things in parkour and mix them all into one course. I know, but trust me, it's way harder than this. Have you guys? Seen the useless button? 
Yeah, I oh, played that game a couple it. days ago, and uh, and I beat it. I it know. Oh, have you seen the uh, mechanic parkour? Yeah, where you like uh, switch your block. Um, yeah, place. imagine uh, imagine if they made a map for that. That would be so insane. Like, imagine a survivor I... having that. Oh my oh, god, oh, oh, I would love that. <gasps> no, I would no, not no, no, that no, no, no! You do not do that. Oh wait, there's, it, there's more than one. Okay, there's more than one. I hate you so much right now, Flame. Oh, 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 oh. I hate you so much, Flame. Like after these ladder jumps, it, I should be fine to do it really well. Okay. You mother trucker. Please do not slash functions in there. <gasps> oh, I beg your pardon. But <laughs> See, after these freaking ladders, I'll be fine. But. Before the uh, frick, no, those freaking ladders. I hate them so much. That jump is the jump at the very end, like the one. Right Vegas there. made the checkpoint. Difficult. Well, so all three oh, of them have made the checkpoint me. so far, and chewable being the furthest. If you make it very far, then. <laughs> no, every time. Oh, I can see it underwater. That's cool. <sighs> oh, I have to make two okay. as well, because after oh, I make this first one, I'm going to fail the second one, and I'm going to cry. Ah, are you I, kidding me? I know how to do joke. it, but I just walk off every time. Think I made it to where Chewable made it. Nope. That stupid long jump. Yeah, that long jump. No! It's going to take a while. Oh, no, no. no, I just went... <laughs> what? You're visible, Walker. I made it, but oh, I didn't. Sorry. That's what you just did. Uh, well. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this parkour and vanishing game mode with you guys. If there wasn't any checkpoints, I would literally. I, would not I mean, I'm just upset that, that 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 was the only one by the ladders. Could have made one after the ladders, huh? <laughs> Joking, don't do that, because then I <laughs> then I would have lost by hey, now. You, you oh, can wait. at least make it yes, easier for them. Yes, yes. Okay, just one more. No, you mother... Yes, he ah. did something in his life. Oh. Are you serious? You got my face, Chubbles. Mm, yeah. yeah. Of that's course. not even easier. That's, even, that's harder. <laughs> that's harder. That's fine. It gives you more things that's to fine. walk on. It's easier. Actually, you know what? This is, well, I can do that whole thing in my seat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from the start, but I'm gonna beat you guys. <sighs> Every time! Whoa, stop. Who punched me? This is okay. probably the host. I'm, I'm, I'm not punching you, I'm way. doing the puzzle. Like, this jump here, this jump here is just ridiculously hard. I hate- No! That. No! No! Bayvat keeps on making the first part, but the second might have hurt. The second part freaking sucks. <sighs> Dang it, I always go that little bit too far. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm at your bit now. Let me do slash V so you guys can see me. Okay. Oh no, no, you okay. do not, Chewable. I'm not even gonna make that a far jump. No, you do not. Everybody's freaking making it now. I don't know how to make this jump. Oh, oh, oh no! Why did I let go? Chewable is so close. Because calm is bitch. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, that, that jump's kind of even hard for and me, Vega baby. Made it. Vega makes the jump. Ooh. Ooh, no, yep, you do not, Vega. Awesome. You do not freaking win this, please. Well, Vega's at the very last part. Can you make it? I'm gonna hit you him off! I'm gonna hit him off! Me. I'm gonna hit him off! After and these Vega ladder jumps, it will immunity. be... Oh Vega, my... After Vega. this freaking... After that freaking oh. ladder, then it would have oh. been a breeze for me! Oh. Are you kidding oh. me? Vega, I'm, Vega, I'm Vega freaking hate everything right now. Dropped. Still have a chance. his way into the final two. I have the item in, uh, title clip. Oh, I'm gonna try and make this now. Um, at first I, I regretted taking it out. I was like, you know, Chewable, because Chewable only would talk to me when it came to tribal. He would not talk to me at all I otherwise, so it always made me feel, like, uneasy. So, you, if, to me, you, you felt more trustworthy. 
However, as far as challenges wise, I feel like chewable was the better choice. So both ways had pros and cons both times. Both points in this game, I felt like I should have That was a better choice, it's just that one challenges. That, that way was just... So, I have the decision. I think... So, I think blo uh, Daniel has blocks though, so that's for sure. Bayback. I don't know about T-Star. I don't think that's for sure if he didn't vote. I don't think I'm getting T-Star's -Star, T vote anyway. I don't know about Honey Badger, and I'm really connected with him. I don't know about DJ. He might be upset with me. Um, I doubt people would vote. Yeah, Vega. I'm, Vega, I'm going to be really bitter. When I mean bitter, I'm going to be bitter. Yeah, no, there's no winning this. I mean, Am I... do you think you should stick to your ally or well, go yeah, with somebody obviously. else? Like, when Red decides to hit record, you guys will understand what the hell I'm doing. However, both Shubal and I both put out uh, DJ, and Block didn't have any real connection to Shubal. So, to me, I was thinking like, well, the obvious choice is she was my biggest ally in the game. Like, that's a one, no duh. And then I also have to choose between. Uh, also hey. Welcome to Tribal Council. This is the final Tribal Council, and now Vega is going to decide who is going to go to the final team. Well. After some plenty of thoughts, I had the choice between the person who tried to get me out and my loyal ally. It's obviously the uh, Bayback, totally. Uh huh. Yeah, go by. I'm sorry. And Bayback is okay. now a new yes. member of the jury. It's obvious. We all knew that. It's not like it's a big surprise. Okay. Now. Yay. All of the jury members. Now, you all have been thinking about who is going to win this game. Well, you guys are going to decide who, win this, who will win this game. But first, we're going to let the final two give a reason, uh, say their speech. Um, well, uh, I won some challenges. Uh, didn't make myself too much of a target. And I mean, I also survived the entire game. And it uh, looks like I aligned myself with the right person. And also, I'll shower you, shower you with carrots if you pick me. That's it. Well, I mean, I don't know what there's to, what, what's there to say. I mean, all of those who have targeted me have been on the block. Uh, like, I got sent home afterwards, and AK Bayback in a sense. And I got here through two challenge wins. The Red Alliance is, is controlling the game from um, uh, tri uh, Tribe Sand Forward. Um, even after a few swaps here and there, I was able to always stay on top of things. Um, had a lot of, um, had a few plans going. I was able to take out, um, just out-challenge people and take out Bayback, who has tried to manipulate every single thing and get everything to work his way, which I did not let him do that. So, I mean, that's some, gotta count for something. And other for that, everyone is probably better at me, but I hope uh, you can uh, forgive me for what I've done and see that I played a good game. Okay, first task question will be DJ. Okay, so, hey fellow, I mean, former team members, what, what was, why did you guys vote me up? What was uh, the plan? Uh, because, um, you were, not us. Like, I mean, we were a oh, part okay. of the original, we were part of the original tribe, and you just kind of came in with two minutes. And when I try to talk to you, you the only time you ever talked to me is like, "So it's the other guy." It's like you don't know who the other guy is. So to me, I thought like you must have went to Chewy, said the same thing, and to, and Chewy and I were already like tight together. So I mean, someone adding someone into the game it was a very bad. I mean, nothing to you. It was just you're very unlucky. I mean, if you, I think if you, yeah. I'm sorry. Seriously. Okay, next person will be Bayback. <coughs> okay. I think, I think now... that's. Mm. Sorry. No, no, I was just talking about. I'm pretty sure that I was able to talk for both on the behalf of both of us. I don't think Chubo yeah. has a different to say about that. I was probably never said that. <coughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to ask the same question to both of you, which I just thought of just then. And I already have a good idea of how, of who I'm voting, but this may sway my decision. So I'll start with Chewable. What do you feel kept you in this game and why? Strength or strategy? So did you feel like you made it to the final two because of your strategy, how you played the game, or... Well, I mean... I think it was more both. I did win like two or three challenges, and I won an immunity challenge and kept my team safe. Also, my strategy I was to lay low a little bit. But I, well, not lay low, but I aligned I lined with one person. You're out winning. We'll have to do some pickup when you come back. Not a whole group. Not a whole, not a whole group of people. Uh, so I kind of aligned with the right person. And I won a few challenges here and there to keep myself safe. Okay, and Vega. Okay, you're gonna have to ask that. You're gonna have to ask that question again. I had to do a family matter. Okay. Um, what do you feel kept you in this game? Strength or strategy, and why? I think in the Strength long run. Yeah. They, uh, like in the long run, strategy. I mean, great, it was all good and all to win challenges, and I mean, that just was able to, I didn't have to work as hard, but even if I didn't win challenges, I could have, I could have still uh, had good control, like, for the final four, if Sting didn't leave, you and I both know that you would have gone home. So, I mean, you gotta thank Sting for being here still, or being third place, right? Um, so, so I, I don't want to be mean, I'm just trying to be realistic. I think you and I both know if you won the final three challenge, I would have gone and you'd be sitting next to Chewie. And honestly, at the final three, Chewie was the one, no matter what happened, Chewie was in the final two. So he had to do something right, right? But for me, um, men it was obviously mentally, I always tried to put myself in a good position at all times. Um, challenges were just always a backpedal. I've never really um, looked at challenges as my only way to survive. I've always put myself in positions that I could control the situation. And when I lose control, then that's when I have to do damage control. Speaking of which, I did some things that would have helped me further the game. I went to, for really early on, I went to Honey Badger and I told him that I warned him about you. And I wanted, uh, and sadly, you just took control and he didn't get far. I also, um, because of my social game, I was able to talk to Sting and work with him and he warned me about you, which is why I played the idol. Um, so to me, challenges is not something that I was, uh, that I look forward to, but um, I may look to do it when I can. As you saw, I've won two challenges. I had the control the entire time. No votes casted to me were effective. The only times that I got a vote was when it was null and void. So, got my Vega Volley Bear Mist going on. Cruising through the city. I don't, I don't know. Listen, I'm trying to ramble on because I can't remember half the things I did, mainly because there's a bit too many and I have a cat meowing. I'm, I'm the real animal here, cat, not you. Anyway, I don't know what the hell the question was anymore, so you can sit down. Um, I was saying whether you thought you what made it this far because of your strength or strategy. And can I ask one more question to Vega? Yeah, do it. Before you roast me, do it. Screw Red's rules, ask me a question. If you, you didn't find, if there were like no idols in this game, do you feel like you would still be up there? Yes. Ooh, why? Because I would have been able to just, I would try harder rather than having to rely on idols. Me relying on idols just puts me my, puts my game more so on just like crews rather than me actually trying. Like, if I didn't have, there was no idols this entire game or if other people had idols and I had absolutely zero, I would have tried harder, make those social connections made myself um, more presence in people's minds in in a good light and I would uh, I would honestly try to talk to you more and get every, get to you like in a 
you work with me more so than, than say block. I would have done all these things different, but because of idols, it put my game in a weaker spot because I was playing more so cruise because I had nothing to worry about. So yes, I would have been here, and I honestly think it would have been more spectacular if there were no idols. In my game. Right? Okay, uh, I just want to ask that question because I honestly felt like uh, you were saved a lot with the idols and whatnot, but I will give it uh, to you. Sting did save you from uh, that tribal, and I felt like he was going to flip, but I was just putting everything on him because I knew that Chewable wouldn't flip, and well, obviously, why the hell will I tell you that I'm voting you, but you already Well, I would have voted Sting if I didn't found out that you uh, weren't going to vote me. See, the thing was, is that the moment you used your idol, I didn't care what information I had beforehand, my first thing is to use that idol, because there been, should have been no reason for you to use your idol, unless you had a plan off your sleeve. So, if you used your idol, I would have used mine. No, no, regardless of what Sting said to me, or what anyone said to me. Okay, thank you, and uh, good luck. Okay. Sorry for being rude, I'm not in a good mood at the moment because of so much crap that's happening at the moment. Oh no, that's okay. okay. It's just, I, I started, I honestly started to get a bit annoyed when he kept, uh, I can't even remember what you were saying. Okay, next step to ask questions. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't really know either of you. Uh, Vega? I mean, you did try to help me out, and honestly, I think that's where my vote's gonna go. Uh, chewable, I guess. What makes you think I should vote for you? Um, the carrots. Alright, that's all I have. Okay, and Blocktopus. Okay. What was your biggest move in this game? <laughs> Let's get back to it. Me? Yeah. Where you can go? Alright, well, my biggest move is, besides being Vega and keeping everything under control, <laughs> I think, um... If... Honey Badger stayed in the game long enough, or stayed in the game after that tribal, I think my biggest move would have been easily just warning him ahead, and I would have been able to um, just use that to my advantage, as because obviously because uh, I've been able to hopefully get an extra ally from that and be able to take down someone as you saw this game, Bayback, who is a really strong threat. Um, but I guess there is no real single point, as I made a lot of moves in I guess sections which got me to the point where I am now, rather than one big old move that destroyed someone's game. Well, but for me, I don't think there was really any sticking point to uh, big moves for my game. The, the really, what I did to try and get myself to the end was not make myself very noticeable. So, I guess that's it. I also uh, suggested to vote out a couple of people to Vega. Uh, including T-Star and, uh, I think somebody else, uh, I don't remember his name, but there was somebody else too. But that's mainly it, just not making myself notice and being able to make it to the final two. Okay. And finally, T-Star. Vega. What did you think your best move was today, and your worst move was today? It's like the same question. Okay, my best move would have to be my s being social with people, making and making like picking people's heads and seeing where they're at, but at the same time not being too social to be completely known. I didn't want to be completely social because I didn't want Chewy to like get a line with me, and I didn't want me to go um, after me. I wanted Chewy to be with, so I only talked to this people that I trust. I am. Go go put yourself in a casket. Anyway. Like, for example, I never talked to uh, Walker. Uh, I mean, Block. Um, I only talked to you with just a certain hand of times. And, um, I only 
talk to DJ like twice. And there's also other people that I just barely okay. talk to. Chewy. So, oh, oh, but oh, 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 people oh, oh, I did oh, talk oh, to, oh, I made sure I was a great person. Chewy. And my work, oh, oh, oh. my work. Okay, 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 okay. The more you talk, the more less I'm going to vote you. Stop. Chewy. Okay. Do you think aligning with... He was with, just answering the um, question. With uh, Lord... Uh, thing, but we don't have time, this one. Lord... Um, with Vega was a good question. Wait, what? <laughs> You think um? You think of aligning with Vega was a good? Uh, do you think aligning with Vega was good? That's well, what? yes, he was basically the only ally that I could trust in the entire game. He was on yellow team. I mean, T Star left very early, and uh, and Cosmic uh, just kept having replacements. So he was really the only person I could trust in the game. Uh, and green team, what I can't trust. What makes you think? <laughs> What makes you think like, you deserve this vote? This is a vote of the chicken. What makes you think you deserve this? Ooh. Well, the fact that I made it to the final two by not be making the target on my back, and also keeping myself safe. Okay. The I'll give this chicken to one of you later on. Okay, with that, it is now time to vote. Here's why you should vote me. D okay. DJ. You can vote for him. Carrots! Okay. I'm voting him. I'm voting him. Okay. Make, are you gonna make up your mind? Uh, Somebody should vote me. Just for the walls. I wanna vote Pikmin, but I can't because I'm close. Uh, hey Pikmin. Uh, do you wanna read two? Or... Sure. Okay, we just gotta wait. Okay, I have to get Sting's votes. I'll just get all the votes and then I'll... Okay, if anybody has the hit of the mute, the... just kidding, it's fine enough too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll take that enchanted chicken. Oh. Okay, no. so now. No, you don't, you don't deserve that. The first, the first vote goes to... Walker. Okay, I'll go. First vote goes to... Oh, there you go. Okay, um... Second vote, Chu. Yeah. One vote Chu, one what? vote Vega. Can this book uh, okay, ever that's... open? Next vote goes to... Oh, I'll just read this out. To this person, I'm sorry I didn't understand oh. you or what you did in your game, but after tonight, I truly see you played an amazing game. Challenges, idols, and social threat. I think I can take it... I... A social threat that I can't take out. I think by now it's obvious who I'm voting. I really hope you win Vega. I never vote bitterly and I ain't gonna start today. You played one of the best games I've ever seen. Bayback. Okay, I got the book Aww. open. Okay, this fourth vote. Chewable, I hope you win. Okay, two votes oh, chew, two votes wow. Vega. Okay, next vote. Vega. Welcome. And the final vote goes to... So Vega wins. Vega. Vega. No. They are yeah. both Bay, but... Lord is better. So, that's Vega. Woo! Vega Ow. has won. Oh my god! Ah. Uh. The very <laughs> first Survivor season hosted by Brett. The Desert. Uh. Uh. Co-host. If only there was a Vega third place. Yeah. Oh, Celebration, yeah. Vega! Co-host. Vega! Walker. Vega, sit right Pikmin, here. Vega, sit right here. Vega, Bobby right here. and Moon. Sit right there, Vega. Right, right there, Vega. I want there to be another season really bad. Um, Thank you for okay. playing, everybody. Oh, I can't see the victory because I'm Wait, <laughs> if Honey Fat didn't vote me, then who was the other person? Who voted me? Okay, who was the other person that voted Chewy? Well, I know who voted. I know who voted. I know who voted Chewable. I know who voted Chewable. It was Doctor Bull, Octopus, and Honey Badger. It was Honey and Sting. Uh, the people who voted Chewy were Doctor Octopus. Doctor Octopus. Oh. Sting. Nice. So that Thank means you. congratulations, Vega, for winning season one of the desert. No, I wouldn't. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs>
see you guys. And stay tuned see you guys for on the after sneak show. peeks of the next survival. Peace. I want to be in the next survival. Am I gonna be there? I'm maybe.